Yo, 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 this is Lil' L.A. Stay Live. I'm back again with another crystal video. But hey, this crystal here, probably one of the most expensive crystals on the market. I'm talking about $60 per gram. Could be said sometimes, so. You may want to catch it when the uh, price go down. But when it goes up, it goes up. Um, I'm going to show you this Moldavite ring that I've, I've just taken off. Um, it's been over a little, uh, let's say, like a year, maybe two months. Since I purchased this ring and I just took it off for the first time today and um, wanted to just give you guys my experience on Moldavite um, so I want y'all guys to stay tuned this is Lil LA Stay Live go ahead and hit that like button share and subscribe with your family and friends to all y'all crystal lovers out there who know about Moldavite hey Drop your comment below. Let me know so we can communicate. Let's get it done. All right. So, yeah. Motivite is a meteorite. Come from outer space. So, when the meteorite hit this earth, it only landed in one place. Um, I'm not sure if it landed in a second place, but... Uh, one of the main places is the CZEC Republican. And uh, if you were to Google about Moldavite, it would definitely let you know that this is one of the main places and only places in the world that you can actually find this typical crystal. And the reason why it is so expensive is that um, the product is actually getting low. They are possibly able to find most or it's very rare now to actually find the real motivite okay and so you know if the price is high most likely it's motivite but you have to check with uh certain experts to kind of uh, know if they're real or not and i'll be getting to details about some of the uh identifications of motivite so you can know if it's real or not i just want you guys to stay tuned hey continue to watch okay as you can see this motivite is green now all motivite are green okay if you see some type of type of another uh color of motivite uh, I haven't experienced it yet, but uh, you can definitely let me know in the comments. Also, you can identify Moldavite by the lines and bubbles that's within. Now, one way to identify the actual real lines is that, you know, since Moldavite comes from outer space and was traveling at a fast speed when it hit the Earth, it's told that the bubbles and lines would not just be circles, would, but also would be like in an oval shape or in a um, kind of a stretchy type of uh, circle, you know, uh, like the shape of an oval. Uh, and that's because of the traveling of the speed of the crystal when it hit the ground and the impact that it had on the crystal uh, when it connected with the earth. So those are the ways that to, to uh, identify, uh, well, those are two ways that you can identify Moldavite. But uh, you can also reach out to uh, a crystal um, identifier, people who accept certificates uh, within crystal stores. That's how I found out the information where I bought this one from. They don't accept none other than the people that they've been with for the last past 31 years and so they are very trusted okay and uh this is what i got i'll be talking more about this crystal so stay tuned 
Now this crystal here is a very high vibrational crystal. And that's because it's from outer space. So you would tap into a whole different type of energy, you know, that probably not of this earth, but possibly of the universe uh, connected in some way. And um, as you get this green crystal, it's from the impact that it hit when it hit the earth. Uh, I'm not sure what hit the earth, but it was a meteorite that uh, once it hit the earth, the uh, astral temperatures and the actual, uh, uh, let's see, substance that it uh, connected with when it hit the earth uh, kind of made it green. So it's one of the dope, dope things about motorbike. <clears throat> definitely high vibrational and um, I want to speak about the flesh that people talk about a lot people talk about the flesh they say they get a uh, or a rush that they get when they purchase this crystal or touch the crystal or whatnot um, I experience this more when I um, took my ring off than when I put it on when I put it on um, I'm a very high vibrational person, I believe, and um, I sometimes uh, recognize my high vibration. And so this crystal actually helped me um, ground my high vibration. And it was so soothing because uh, sometimes uh, your mind race when you're in a high vibration because of your uh, thoughts. You know, you can... Uh, when you're in a high vibration, your your thoughts are very uh, very interesting, and you know this is what you do uh, when you're in a high vibration. You think of things uh, uh, that's very uh, positive, and you you kind of keep going with uh, thoughts that can actually uh, increase uh, your well-being. Okay, so uh, that's the type of uh, vibrations that I'm speaking of uh, when it comes to my thinking. And um, this crystal here helped me just put out a great foundation for all the things uh, that goes up and beyond uh, for me and my well-being and my life, you know. And so uh, I can also let you know the experience that I uh um, had when I first got this motorbike, uh, and since I had it, uh, is that I've been basically things that um, I needed, or you can say, or uh, wasn't aware of that I needed, um, actually came about, and it was some very positive uh, gifts that I was given since I had this crystal for a year. Um, I definitely want you guys to uh, get out and purchase an, a Moldavite. Don't be afraid to buy Moldavites. Um, you have to experience for yourself before you actually take in uh, what someone else may experience for that crystal. Because like I said, uh, nothing bad actually happened after I purchased this crystal. It was actually a very positive positive. Uh, receiving after after receiving this crystal i was actually in a uh <clears throat> situation where i was trying to get out of uh during them times and i'm talking about uh life situations and nothing serious but just a lot of responsibilities that need to be taken care of you know to keep going and uh thriving and once i purchased this crystal a lot of things kind of fell in line and so i didn't feel like uh, this crystal was so bad, you know, that I had to, like, get rid of it or anything. Um, but I did have people around me to actually experience uh, different situations, uh, but I didn't ever tell them about this crystal that I had and how it affects one uh, aura and space and era. Uh, that could be one thing you want to do once you purchase this crystal is uh, tell people uh, how it affects them. Uh, before you try to uh, interact with them uh, without them knowing about the crystal. So stay tuned. I have more information on this crystal.
Now, as I was saying, I was speaking about the high vibrations of Moldavite. Moldavite chakras are the chakras dealing with the heart chakra and up. So the heart chakra, the throat chakra, and the third eye chakra, and the crown chakra, and all of the above. They are very interesting and not only is it interesting, it's very high vibrational and one of the uh, things that I did after purchasing this crystal and uh, understanding the high vibrations that it uh, helped me raise uh, and activate is that uh, within my chakras is that uh, buying another type of form of tech type and possible uh, <clears throat> meteorite, which is a uh, Libyan desert glass. Um, I don't have one to show you at this moment, but I do have one piece, and uh, maybe I'll make a video about that. But Libyan desert glass also uh, deals with the solar plexus uh, and the chakras, the lower lower chakra. So the Moldavite deals with the high chakras while the Libyan Desert Glass deals with the lower chakras. When it comes to the combinations uh, that you want to kind of combine uh, Moldavite with, uh, one that I experienced is dealing with wood. So if you're familiar with petrified wood, uh, which is a crystal that after a certain amount of years, uh, over 5,000 years, you may get a crystallized form of wood. So the wood may, a tree may fall to the earth and um, once it's on the ground, it may start receiving quartz with, within, with inside of it. After like a certain amount of time, I give it uh, 5,000 years. And then some people uh, actually have uh, crystals, uh, petrified wood that is like a million years old. Um, you can just stay tuned. I'll be showing you some petrified wood that I found uh, that may be very interesting to you. Um, so, yeah, petrified wood <clears throat> dealing with the environment and, you know, uh, oxygen that uh, <clears throat> that you get from the trees or whatnot. It's just a, a whole type of uh, um kind of feeling that makes you want to go out recycle you know uh take care of the earth not to litter so on and so forth and so uh, combining um petrified wood with moldavite is a great combination um when it comes to your environment now with this crystal what i'm gonna do is make sure i wrap it back in copper I don't want the actual Moldavite to fall out of this ring here and lose it. Because like I said, it's expensive. You don't want to lose nothing um, that's expensive to you sometimes, especially if you can just take care of it. That's all it's about. I'm going to do some smudging, okay? Right now I'm out in outside. It's giving me oxygen. And normally it does as it sits on my finger. You know, um, I go mining for crystals, so you guys can definitely go watch my videos as I mine for crystals. And yes, I had this ring on the entire time. Uh, nothing happened to it, uh, as you can see. Uh, no damages or anything. Um, I'm basically playing in the dirt uh, from which it may have come from. Something that I find quite interesting, um, the fact that, you know, Putting it back out in nature, you know, once I go mine for crystals and stuff like that, and the actual uh, energy that it may be receiving from me uh, mining for crystals. So, yeah, uh, and not yet, but I definitely can use you guys' help uh, on my journey. If you guys want me to go to the CZ Republican, go ahead and donate to me and give me a cash app. For my journey you know i'm on that journey and i've been to like four or five states so far but haven't found any motivite uh motivite is not in the usa i would have to go outside of the country i got my passport i'm ready 
for you guys to support me on my journey it will be very interesting for you guys to lead me to another place in time and thank you um i'll be back stay watch to the end thank you i like to say thank y'all because y'all made it to the end of this video about moldavite one of the most expensive crystals uh, that's in the marketplace at this moment uh very powerful very high vibrational color of green money it represents uh intelligence and a lot more okay y'all can rewind this video if y'all would like to hear more about motivate definitely uh if you missed anything or have anything that i've missed you can definitely leave it in the comments but i want you guys y'all yeah, I made it to the end of the video, and here's my petrified wood. This was actually a tree at some point. And uh, as you can tell, the round part here it represents a tree stump. So it was actually part of a tree stump. It's huge. I'm holding my phone. I don't want to drop it. But this is what you get. When wood actually get um, quartz quartz quartzified <clears throat> and solid as such as this this thing has to be millions of years old okay i got it from the state of alabama um hey as you can see it's in my hand so uh no one basically uh received it or took it into their possession other than me and I'm very thankful that you guys stayed to the video to see what I found in Alabama. Very, very, very interesting, right? This thing is heavy. I'm talking about at least mm, somewhere around 10 pounds or more. Uh, pretty, pretty heavy. Um, check it out, man. This thing is huge. You know what I mean? Uh, this is a piece of wood, like. You can actually go outside and chop wood with an axe, right? But if you was to chop this, this would actually break as if it was like a, like, like, let's see, like, like porcelain or something like that.